My name is James Fig. I'm 67 years old. And I'm one of the two chaperones of the trip with the Mullen students, 21 students. And I have found the trip to, uh, to, 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 Nepal, to Nepal to be extraordinary. My expectations were that I would see great beauty, and I did. But I didn't know what to expect with what I would see with the people from Nepal. And what I found was an extraordinary people. People that are humble, that are giving, pleasant, that have wonderful dispositions, that want to interact with you and say hello to you, that want to cooperate, help you, work together, who have so much less than we have in America as far as material things, but who do so well with what they have, not just in surviving, but in excelling with their lives. To take simple things that we take for granted and to appreciate them and to maximize their use and their usefulness uh, was very enlightening. And I think more than anything, the little children of Nepal, all of the children that we encountered, were so exuberant and so enthusiastic about life. They wanted to learn, and they, they seek education and knowledge. They don't take it for granted uh, like we do in America, and they work hard. The students were very bright and intelligent. I was impressed with the math skills of the students. I was impressed with their physical agility when we gave them little bouncing balls. Uh, the children were able to bounce them and kick them with their feet, with their head, uh, to do all sorts of things, very agile. The adults, extremely uh, strong in endurance, hiking up and down the hills, sometimes carrying very, very heavy loads, never complaining, seemingly never getting tired. Um, and that, so, to me, it was life-changing, the cultural emulsion, and learning about the people of Nepal and how uh, deeply religious and spiritual they are, um, how caring they are and how important family is to them, and how they accept outsiders without any hesitation at all. is a lesson to be learned and emulated by all of us. And I think uh, what I would add is that uh, it makes you hopefully think beyond and outside yourself to others and I would encourage people that come to Nepal I would encourage them to come to Nepal uh, not to get or take what they can from Nepal but to give what they can and it, as we in return they will get so much more uh, this trip changed my philosophy and my attitude my perspective and uh, changed my life and I think that uh, while none of us, at least I can't, uh, expect to change the world, um, if I can make a positive difference in small ways, if we all can do that, then collectively we can change uh, the culture of Americans, for example, for the better, and change uh, some of the Nepali things for the better as far as uh, life and, and uh, the quality of life for the Nepalese people, and especially education. And the purpose of this trip was service-oriented, and uh, I'm so pleased uh, to have been involved in the project at, at Solari at the hostel for the young girls to give them an opportunity uh, to become educated to improve their lives and the lives of their families and to uh, take part in uh, a future for them which gives them options. And I think that that uh, lesson and empowerment for uh, the, the girls and women of uh, Nepal is going to be wonderful for them and for the men as well and for the uh, culture of uh, Nepal and for its future. So again, thank you all for having us, for being such gracious and wonderful hosts, for taking care of us all along the way. And uh, this, this was uh, the most memorable trip I've had uh, anywhere.